Okay, we're going to start working the back here. The light disappeared. There it is. All right, so we got to pull this inner primary all off so we can seal everything all up. And we got the battery, oil tank battery all put in here. We got to pull the battery back out. And then we got to hook up oil lines, get all that done. And then we got to put the heads up on here in the motor too, which we're laying there. So we're disassembling before we can assemble. You lost a half inch already? No, I got it. This is. Tube material. Oh, all kinds of inner tubes around here. Okay, so you like to have these two bolts on the oil tank battery box mount to? These are all glued in? Yes. Whatever hardware we're not going to use over there, put it off to the side. We've got to find what we're, what we're going to use. If that's not it. Okay. We had chrome bolts in front there or not? Yes. Okay, so we got the right ones in the front. solenoid in there either so that has to be a uh, lock tied once you get that out. These bolts here. Mm-hmm. Unless you lock tied those, I don't remember doing it. We're still trying to get that cover to fit last time. I don't even know if we even have the O-rings in there. Okay, heads. Okay, we got our bolts right here. 
lube them up, put them in. You need that ratchet whenever you're done with it. Oh, I thought you had those small ones. Who's got the quarter inch one? Uh, I think it's in the back. I must have it somewhere. Okay, yes. I got it. It's over here. Okay, so we use our little mini ratchet here to tighten down our bolts here. Makes it go quicker. Down here we're dealing with right now. We get the heavy duty intake clamps. To have the quarter inch, not the number 10 thread. These are a lot stronger. Make sure you put oil on these threads right here and make them tighten up better. Little assembly lube. What are you looking for? Uh, I just don't want to put this when it comes off. Oh, the primary? Yeah. You're kicking on the floor wasn't your plan? No. That, that wasn't the plan. Oh. That was my plan. Yeah. Ping pong machine over there. <laughs> Get them washers. You just got to lube these all up here. So that's not going to fall when you bump into it. I assume there's no ring on the front or was it in there? It's on the motor here. Okay. Okay, last one. Lots of loop. Okay, so we're going to use the MLS head gaskets on this project. Right here, so let's put these on dry. Here's the other one. So I'm going to put them on dry right after I paint them. So I use my uh, fancy ass paint right here. K line. I don't make this no more. But I got lots of it, so I don't care. Okay, I always spray my gaskets here with the uh, aluminum paint. Went on. Now the paint gets uh, squished out of the way when you tighten the head down. It fills up all the little pores and machine surfaces in the head or the cylinder both. And it'll dissipate. And it doesn't burn off very quickly, the aluminum in the paint. It'll actually stay on the piston domes on the race bike and burn a hole right through the piston. The paint will still be on part of the dome. It hangs around a lot better than you think it does. You don't need a real thick layer, just a nice even coat. This plastic guy stuffed it in here, I don't trust it, so I use my old way of doing things. Don't put your arm on top of the other one. Unless you want to. It's purely optional. Okay, now this head will not go on there because it has these Allen fancy acorn nuts on here. So we have to get rid of the acorn nuts. 
slip it through here, and then we put the acorns back on after it's on the other side. So I gotta take these all off right here. Where is my wrench for doing that? Okay, so we pull all these off, leave the washers on there though, Just taking off the acorn nuts temporarily, so they're off, okay now we slip it all in there, and then we stick the head bolts up underneath and tighten them in there, now whatever you do, don't jam this thing in there very hard, if you do, it puts two big gouges right here and right here, and causes lots of problems with the head sealing. I just lost one washer because I showed you something. So, which one's missing? That one's missing. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in here. This one only fits in one way. There you go. Push the bolt up to hold it in the gasket so it won't rotate, and you rotate the head until it drops in. It goes in there like that. And I get interruptions, of course. Hello. Her to do. I only work on them all when the motor's apart and the head's off the bike. It's not something you do in the motor very easily. If you want to try to do it in the bike, then I'd check with another different place. I don't do that. All right. Size insert and my insert. I think it's big enough to repair heat coil as long as the hole's not too bad. I'm not sure about that. Um, otherwise, you have to go to a different oversized insert, which I can get. I don't usually do that system, but uh, you're probably looking at about um, $150 probably with the insert. And all that new. Would be a guess. I'd have to see what the insert would cost for a bigger one. Mine won't work, but. Might be a little more because because of the insert. Okay. All right. Want to swivel? No. <clears throat> nope. You can go on the other side and put the head bolts on the other side. Any one of you? Let's get them all started. Ding 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 ding. Here's the acorns for the outside edge. There you go. <clears throat> I broke my tool. No, no, I wouldn't use that today. You didn't do that? Go. 
Okay, there's your tube out. What happened to the oil line? Yes. Okay, this we gotta put on here. Yeah. Jeez. There it goes. That rubber's tight. I might have to do some customizing with that. Okay. Coming through, coming through. What can I scratch up on the way in? Goes there. Yeah, wonderful. It doesn't want to be in the hole. Ain't that special. I think these other ones started. Let me do it. You got it. Nope. Thought it was on it. Must be turning the washer, not the bolt. It started. Here's your other one. If you don't put the, the separate oil, um, oil tube in here now, you have to bend it way up high and then re-bend it after it goes in, which is kind of a pain the way to do it. You know, I don't know why this one won't go through here. I thought all these were fitting in there with nuts on them. Obviously that one don't want to go. So I'm going to pull this off. Where's my other wrench at? Coming for you. Speed wrench, so I have to do it the hard way. The master mechanic. I'm just... So that means if you're slower yeah. than me, you got a problem? Yeah. <laughs> now, if you keep your fingers between the frame and the wrench, you don't nick the frame up. You don't care if I nick the frame up, do you? Ah, a little bit. Oh, you do? It's not chrome, though. Tighten those up once nope. be able to The rings are already broken. We got all in the intake port. Hmm. Or maybe something for some oil on the valve. Which one do you think it is? <laughs> you problem with that socket over there? Yeah, it wants to work its way on, and then once it does it, I can give you this wrench over here if you want to do it with the wrench. Yeah. You know, some of my wrench is moving quicker yeah, than that. Then it gets in the line. Alright. 
you've got tight. Tube's a little bit on the long side. Uh, I shortened it. You like how I shortened that for you? Yeah. I'm pulling down a little bit. I'm collapsing the things right now. In there, aren't they? Yes. Go ahead and collapse the gas, gas is down, so it's about ten. Five ten foot pounds on. See how this intake fits. Not too bad. This head needs to go in a little bit more. Don't worry, I was not hitting on that chrome at all. That was not me. That was pretty good though. You done over there? He's slow. You count each one of those clicks? One, two, three, four, five. You're pretty good. <laughs> Tight over there. So we took the acorn nut off of here because we're real close up under there. But it looks like it might have been able to run that acorn nut up here, but it's too late to put it in now. When the head's all the way pulled down, oh, it'll be close, but it looks like it might have just enough clearance. Too late. But we got a chrome nut there, so you're all right. I think you'll notice it up in the gas tank. Yeah. Even you, I don't think, would notice it that much. <laughs> Are you about down there. I'm getting tired. Okay, so now we gotta line the heads up until he's here, until he gets the heads down, I can't tell, but right now we're pretty close. You they're snug. How, you see how they're in there pretty good. So your intake fits in there really nice. Mm. Look at it's made for it. Look at that. It's got Ooh. a little gap on the back over here. Oh jeez, heaven forbid. Like that much? No, that's that's way that's a lot of luck. Oh, okay, I'll put it like that because yeah. you want it more like straight then? More like that. Okay. That's more better. More better. Good deal. More butter. That's how I'm tight. I still hear it moving. Uh, that, was, that was the back end. Oh, that was the other head. You know it affects it when you tighten that one, too. Oh, goes the fin. I heard it. I heard that fin. I heard it. Oh, he's throwing stuff at me now. What did you throw at me? It sounded like a piece of chrome hardware. There's a socket. Oh, you threw the socket at me. Oh, you there it is. That doesn't fit on my tool. Here. You got done? I need that tool when you get done. It's just about. He's, he's holding up the production over here. What's that? What do you got for a motor mount over there, do you know? No. I don't know. Okay, you want to clamp uh, be over here like this somehow, right here, where you can look at it, or do you want to have it buried on the other side where you can't see it unless there's something 
open on that side. Otherwise, you're gonna be on this side over here like that. I'd rather have it there because we won't. This is all gonna be open. That's gonna be covered with the. You got nothing hanging over there at all. Nope. Okay. So you have to be over here where it's pretty. Can you get all this pulled down slightly? Yes. You see my wrench. Yeah. Did you blow that in my face for a reason? Huh? Yeah. He did that on purpose. Okay, so you want that to go over here like this? Yes, sir. as we can hide it. That was the easy part. Now for the fun part. You get to hook the clamp on there and you get to put the nut on there. That'll be fun to do. It's going to be way the hell over here where all the pins are in my way. Do you think I'll be able to do that? Hmm. That's going to be fun to do find out. Okay, so to get this o-ring in here, we just wrap it around the top here. Like this. And so the o-ring's frozen. There it goes. And you just hold it with one finger. The other one will get inside the clamp. You slip the manifold in, rotate it, and just roll the edge back, wiggle a little bit, and the o-ring will self-center. Just like this. Can you do that? Can you install the o-ring now? Mmm. Kind of wiggle around a little bit. Look, let the t twisting come out of it. And there, see how that goes in there? Pretty Beautiful. slick, huh? Almost like you've done that once or twice. That was an easy thing to do. Now we got to try to get this big piece of crap in there, and there ain't room for it because you're making me do it the hard direction. You know why it's the hard direction? Because there's no stinking room to get it in here. I don't think I can get it to go in here at all. Of course, it's going to pull the manifold right back off the head. I just got done putting on. Look at that. Ah. Almost like I've done that before. I'm starting to get tired. I'm actually holding the clamp closed while he's screwing around with that. There, see how that goes? That looks nice. See, we have a lack of clearances in here. Got to get it all mounted up in there and still clear all right this. So it'll be hidden just like that. Now I'm going to tighten this up and it'll kind of self-center it. And then we'll torque the heads down with the manifold on there. And that'll help keep everything lined up good. Hopefully. Unless something happens. Which isn't going to happen. It won't happen? Nothing's going to happen. It'll be the first time on this bike? That's nothing right. Happens. It's not going to be like the other bike I just got done doing about? Oh! This keeps falling off. Maybe I'll just eliminate it. Hmm. Appears to be a lack of room in here. See, so you have more room on this one than this one? Mm hmm. See, so I have a tight squeeze on this one. And you want to draw these in kind of equally so it pulls evenly. You know, it's just a show bike you get these exactly at the same angle. I was waiting for you to get that. I want to see it. It's perfect. 
I won't sleep tonight if those are off. If it's off a little bit. What if I scratch the polish up on the pen over yeah, here? This one needs to be. Yeah, this one's a little lower. A little lower? Maybe if that's still loose. Self center a little bit. Starting to tight finally. So is that one. Am I off? I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna let you fix them. You don't want it to be perfect, do you? Okay. Now the quarter inch clamps get tighten it pretty good. Can't tighten the small ones this much. Okay, up here wanna move. Where's your straightest? Let me check this. <laughs> Where Stop is it? Over there. Mm -mm. I thought I was joking. No. Down there. Nope. Yep. Left side. Aluminum. Yeah, long. That's it. Looks like a straight edge to me. Your oil lines in the way. Okay, you have to look at it from the bike. Is it straight to this surface? Hmm. Hmm. Looks pretty straight. You sure? What do you think? Is it going straight up and down? Or is it off? I don't know. It might be off a half a degree. The smirk didn't make the camera there. <laughs> Alright, you can live with that? I can live with it. Okay, did you tighten your bolts down? Make sure those are tight. Those clamps. Did you make sure they're even? They're pretty close. You can live with it? I can live with it. Is that tight? No, oh, it's... You're tight. You're tight? It's tight. It's tight? Okay, those are tight. You gonna put some acorn nuts on here to make it look pretty? No, but if you can cut them off or something. You can cut them off and you'll never put them back on there again. <laughs> How about the intake? How about the port alignment up in there? I don't know. It looks like it's off by about 15,000 somewhere. <laughs> Try that with your damn Evo motor. Good luck on getting port alignment that close. Yeah, I got a I got this shirt in my way. Look at that. Uh -huh. Are we advertising? Here we go. Oh, my brother. You have another brother? How many brothers you got? <laughs> All right, so you gonna torque the heads down now? How about this oil line? Is it tight? Nope. Okay, so you hit it right there in the center, it'll bring it back down. Especially the bent right here. See how this one's pretty straight. This one's going. <coughs> so you need to hit it right here to bring it all the way into the clamp. Because somebody beat on it because it was too long. Mm-hmm. Who would do that? Look at that. Now they're lined up. Look at that. See how that's customized? See it straight, straight. You didn't think you could do that with chrome tubing, did you? No. Did that nut even go on there? Oh, yeah. look at that nut screwed right on like it wasn't even bound up or anything. Okay, get your half inch wrench and tighten it up. Wake him up, he'll be over here. I do it evenly, otherwise, it twists the line. I don't know. You doing that right? 
I don't know. I tighten it down. Are they tight? Do you do it evenly? I didn't want it. I don't know how tight you want them. Well, tight enough it doesn't leak oil. If you don't put the wrench all the way on, it rounds it, rounds it off the chrome. There. Okay, is it tight? That's tight enough where it's not going to leak oil. You sure? Now feel it. Why don't you go the other way and tighten it? See how tight tight is? Yeah. Okay, do the other one. See what tight is? Yeah. That's what tight is. <clears throat> okay, now this one here we can bend the line and make it fit. You got First you gotta torque these head bolts because your gaskets will blow right now if you don't tighten them down. Yeah. It's very important that you torque them. So where's your wrench? Did you pull this wrench as hard as you could? No. Why not? Because you told me just to get them snug. <sighs> Is that snug? How about that? <clears throat> That's how this doesn't fit in this motor. This S and S cylinder too thick in here. Can you get it in there? I had the extension out. Extension? Now we're gonna start. We're gonna get a torque wrench on it now. Okay, now we're gonna torque them. So we have a torque adapter. And we got a torque wrench, big one with a flex head. Very important for the flex board. Which torque you want to use? Uh, I've never seen you torque anything yet. We use 30 pounds. Manifold is almost in the way. Alright, that's enough on this side. Alright, look out. It's coming through. That one was really tight. Did you miss this one? I didn't get a chance for you to get out of the way. Jeez. That had like about an eighth of an inch of air in that one. See the gasket go pop? Mm -hmm. It wasn't a torque wrench that went pop, it was a gasket. Oh, what was that noise? Uh-oh. You can bring all three down a little bit. You have to figure out how to use a wrench. It's pretty complicated. Figure it out. Torque wrenches don't work upside down. Making it looser, not tighter. Did you reverse the wrench on me? You must have reversed that when I wasn't looking. I don't need my key. Somebody snuck in there and did that? The boogeyman did it? Okay, get the other ones going. We'll tighten them all at once. Don't scratch the chrome oil tank over here now. No, this has to be at 90 degrees to be accurate. If you're not at 90 degrees, it's not accurate. Okay, torque the center one down. That one. Can't work upside down. It's not accurate when you're like that. There's a percentage of error by how many degrees off you are. So to go torque it all the way? Yeah. Oh, it broke it. Not accurate again. Well, I know, but it's not really tight. When it gets stuck under the fin, you're screwed. 
Yeah, but you're not accurate. Could go back. Move it back. So I go one high as far as I go. You go one more click up if you want. Yep, there you go. Back one. There you go. Yep. Damn. Okay, get the other side. Very good. So you can be one click up like that from tight from ninety. No, tighten them all, just go ahead and torque it. Torque it? I'm waiting for you. There you go. <clears throat> They're already roughed in, just like you did on the other side until you do the final. This is only 30 foot pounds, we're not even close yet. You gotta over double this. The other side just barely clears that intake manifold. <laughs> do the front one. You're already set up for the front one. Mm. You already had the angle set to do that one when you're back over here. You're getting good now. The next thing you do is look at the clock. Look at them second hands going like crazy. <laughs> okay. Readjust the torque wrench now. Go down here. Flip the handle out. Up. There you go. Rotate it until it goes to 50. Lock it. Do it again. See what 50 foot pounds feels like? Mm -hmm. That's why you don't need a torque wrench if you know what 50 pounds feels like. Okay, six more to go on this side. Do this one first. It's 180 across on the other side. What's that noise I heard? What's that sneaking around over there? Ooh, it's a four-legged rat. Look at that big rat. Oh, oh, it's got a big tail too. Look at that thing. There's a big four-legged rat. What are you doing, Scooby? What? Did he wake you up a lot, clicking noise? Yeah. Oh, I didn't miss something exciting over here, did I? Nope, just me. Oh, you're not going to miss that one? Because I only heard two clicks. <laughs> Unless I hear six clicks, I know you're not done. It's not all on the same bolt either. <laughs> so, oh, you're guilty again. Boom. There it is. You know they're gonna make me have to pay for that ringtone there. It's my video. That's music now. <laughs> they keep wanting me to put music on these stupid videos for some reason. <laughs> put some there we go. All right. Tired? No, no. Let's go. Good. 
To like 25 now? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. All right, you're upside down. Doesn't work upside down. Does it matter which one? I don't care. It matters where that angle that wrench is at, like you got it right now, though. So you can go one click up to 90 as far as you can go. There you go. What's up, Scooby? What? Are they scaring you out there again? Good boy. Scooby's gonna come help. You helping, buddy? He's helping. Or he's hiding, one or two. We're not sure which. <laughs> yeah, you're working hard now. You know how you tell me go up, it's like one full movement in the fin? Yeah. It's pretty much one side to this side to get that torque. That's why I picked those numbers. They're way off. Here a little extra. Okay. See, when you're going like that and it goes click, you got full torque. When you stop and come back, you, you got to break the torque free so you get a full torque. Okay. It's a drag of the bolt. So I give them a little extra whenever I got breakaway torque. To the dial wrench, you can actually see the number that it's pulling. Mm. With a clicker, you can't. So much easier to do without the primary cover in a way? Yeah. Much nicer. See, that's why I got this flex head. You can flex the, album, the torque out like that and then clear the solenoid. Yeah, well, it's much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all torque. Are they tight? 65. They're tight? They're tight. Okay. So if it blows up, it's your fault. <laughs> I think you've got, you got it on camera. work a little bit just in case it was binding up in there. Okay. Yeah, almost like you knew what you're doing there. Alright, so now we need to get a motor mount. You can't adjust the valves until you have a motor mount. So we gotta figure out what you can do for a motor mount. And we get our primary and all that stuff on. We gotta hook up all these oil lines. So you got a lot of work to do. And you never did clean the gasket material off your manifold here I see. Yeah, still it's only been three years. We big... We're gonna wait till the last minute to get that off. What did we do? I thought we had a big mount for that. We had some kind of mount, I thought. Uh, if not, we need one. I you had... all your... There's all your... Wipe all your mount. fingerprints off of here. There you go. So you can't get back in here again after you put your tanks on. So... All the smudges off. Huh. You know, this is a bracket here he wants to use. This bracket still doesn't fit quite right. But it's close. 
So we have to pull this nut off in here to put this on. We'll get that a little later. Ooh, that's a nice mount. Where's the rest of it? Uh, that's a good heavy one. It goes up there like that. And then we need a cross piece that goes across. And yeah. that's all I got in here. Well, I know there was more. It takes more than one piece. I think that's work. the one that's the only piece that we dug out. There's more than one piece. I wouldn't have given you half a motor mount. There could be another piece in there somewhere. Somewhere be, in all this crap. All right, well, we'll get to it. We don't need it until we do the valves, so we're okay for now. Oh, that kind of looks like the missing piece that we needed. Oh, it's even got two holes in it and everything. And did you write that number down anywhere yet? Okay, what are we going to use for bolts? Bolts. Yeah. Shiny ones. Well, oh, there's your frame number right there. F something. What is it? F8? F4? That's your date code for your frame. Yeah. F is what, the 70s decade? Should be. And that's the month it was made, whatever that says. Hard to read it through the paint. I think it's an 8. All right, so we need that there. We need two big ass bolts for your bracket. Where's the bracket? You didn't bring a deadly weapon with you. Oh, jeez. How'd you get through my door? My magnetism checker didn't check to catch that. Ooh, look at that nice chrome. Do you feel how nice that chrome oh, is? Oh man. That is that. some that is some nice chrome. So, there's another problem. See that fancy nut there? The motor mount's too big to go in there. <laughs> so we gotta pull uh pull those off. So we're gonna put that thing in there like that. We're gonna need a couple big washers on here. This looks like one of those combination uh, shovel head Evo brackets. Plus the big slots on everything. All right, so we got to pull these nuts off. You never did put these nuts back on yet. What's up with you? Man, you got me running in 10 different directions. Got you running circle. I only told you to do like an hour ago. Jeez, I don't know how you missed that. You're going to notice it if you didn't put them back on it, it starts leaking. Would you notice it then? I think that might have. You gotta torque these in there too, correctly. Do you know what the correct torque is? Tight. Maybe. If you feel these ones, you probably could tell what it is. Ooh, look at that upside down torque wrench. Where'd you get that fancy tool from? Mm. Jeez, you don't think that's why I use those, do you? <laughs> oh, we're guilty again. Okay, check your torque over here with a couple of them. Okay, do all four of those the same. Oh, jeez. Yeah, hello. Hi. I knew who it was. It's Mr. Sportster guy.